I'm Tim Carlisle, standing here live at the Lakeland men's basketball game with Action News Go. We're going to see if we can pull a player off before they run into the locker room. Hey, Chris, come here real quick. Looks like it worked. I'm just going to ask you a couple questions pregame, man. All right, I'm here with my man Chris Richardson. Chris, how are you feeling before the game today? Feeling great, ready to go, ready All to get right. this game started. All right, so you're coming in tonight at one and one. What are you going to do tonight, make adjustments, come off that last loss? we got to come out with a lot of energy. I think last game we started out a little slow. But this game, we got to bring the defensive energy the whole entire game. Well, you're going to have a film crew here to capture it, man. We're excited and ready to see it all night long. Let's go, Lakers. All right, there we go. It's game time. Before we could get things started, our reporter, Matt Chafee, has a few words with the head coach. All right, Terry, thank you for joining me. How do you sure. feel about uh, tonight's uh, memorial game? Uh, it should be a good game, a uh, really good opponent tonight. Um, four good teams in the tournament tonight, so uh, hopefully if we can come out and execute, we'll be, we'll be good after 40 minutes of play. And I had the privilege to talk to you in your interview, or be there at your interview, you know, talking about this memorial game and how much this means to you. Uh, what are the emotions, you know, coming up into this game? What emotions are you feeling about this memorial? All positive emotions, you know, I just want the guys to come out and play hard, have a lot of energy, um, fight and see what happens at the end of 40 minutes. Awesome. Thank you very much, and good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you. The TJ Memorial Tournament is played in memory of the infant son of Lakeland Community College head coach Terry Bowe and his wife Monica. At this special time of year, we wish to commemorate the ideal that every life, no matter the length or circumstance, can touch others. May we all learn to live our lives so as to touch those around us in a positive way. Welcome to Lakeland Community College for tonight's matchup between the Delta Pioneers and the Lakeland Lakers. All right, and we are underway here from Lakeland Community College. Getting things started on the tip-off is number 24, Christopher Richardson, tipping the ball back to number 20, Jordan McMillian. Number one from the Pioneers from deep, and it's good with a nice three-pointer. Back comes number 10 with a quick layup for the Pioneers. Pioneers are going to pass the ball around on the outside. Number 11 being guarded by number 11, Johnny Bowers, hits a three-pointer. Allen Sims, number 30, with a nice offensive rebound, gets a layup, finally getting the Lakers on the scoreboard. Number four, Julian Jackson passes Johnny Bowers the ball, who puts up a nice jump shot for the Lakers. Tyreek Johnson with an absolutely incredible, huge three-point shot to give Lakeland the lead. And back come the Lakers on offense now with number 20 holding the ball. Jordan advancing up the lane, puts up a nice offensive layup to give Lakeland a 33-30 to 30 lead heading into half. So we're here with the assistant coach. Coach, talk a little bit about the adversity you faced there, being down 18-6 to six at one point, battling all the way back to take a 33-30 to 30 lead at the half. Yeah, those guys came out and punched us in the mouth um, pretty hard. They, they definitely played a lot harder than we did. Um, we were luckily able to get some, some calls and some shots to fall. To, to We really have no business being in this game right now. So for some reason we are, hopefully we're able to make some adjustments and come back and, and take care of it in the second half. Could you talk about those little adjustments real quick uh, going into the second half to finish strong? Yeah, well, we have one assist right now. That's okay. just not going to get it done. And part of that is the way they play defense, and part of that is, is us not sharing the basketball. So um, defensively, we need to pick up the intensity and the pressure, and, and most importantly, we need to share the basketball. All right, thank you very much, right, Coach, and uh, best of luck. Go right, Lakers. Appreciate it. Thanks. Emmanuel Sunnyway takes the ball out for the Lakers, passing it in to number 20, Jordan McMillian. Number 10 for the Pioneers puts up a nice three-point shot, followed by number four putting up a nice layup and getting fouled and shooting two shots at the line. Chris Richardson getting Lakeland in on the action in the second half here with this layup, finally putting some points on the board for the Lakers. Tyreek Johnson's going to dish it out to McMillian, and the three-pointer's good! Number one, Tyshawn Howard getting in on the action as well with a nice layup here. Followed by Johnny with a nice steal again for the Lakers. And here comes E-Man, Emmanuel Sunnyway, with a nice and one. Tyreek Johnson at the line, shooting some foul shots. 
with 31 seconds to go, the Lakers are clinging on to an 81-74 lead. And time is going to expire, and the Lakers are going to hold on to win the basketball game. All right. What's up, Tyreek? Great game, man. Appreciate it. Hey, y'all came out there. You guys fought hard all the way through. You know, first half, you guys were down 18 to 6. Second half, you came out. You're down 33 mm -hmm. to 46, man. Right. How'd you guys battle back and come behind and get that win? Um, Effort. We play hard. Uh, we came out a little sluggish, but our identity, we play hard. And yeah. one of our guys, Eman Emmanuel, he came in and gave us energy. We was down, he gave us energy, and that's one of the, he's one of the main reasons why we came back and won that game. You guys very, very clearly fought hard all the way, 40 minutes from start to finish, man. So congratulations on that. Hey, talk about yourself. You had a couple of big three-pointers out. I saw your parents out here in the stands tonight. What does that mean to you to come out um, and play hard in front of them? It means a lot. Um, they're my parents. I love them. So it was good to have them come. I wasn't playing so good at, at the first, so I, had, I know I had to pick it up for them. They're coming all the way from Georgia. so. But, yeah, other than that, it's a team effort at the end of the day. And... I played, I played well because my teammates kept boosting me up even when I was playing bad. So it was all about them at the end of the day, and it was a good team win. Awesome. You were truly a leader out there, you know, coming back, being one of the few returners. Um, what was it like to be able to take charge of this young team and be a leader and an example for them in the late moments? Um, it's definitely different. It's definitely different. Last year I was a freshman. It was definitely different. I got to always – I can't have a bad attitude or anything because they're always watching me. So it's just all about – being positive even when I'm shooting bad or stuff like that. So, like I said, my teammates and my coach kept boosting me up, and I kept boosting them up, and that's what happened. Well, your effort held strong all the way, 40 minutes, Appreciate and you guys got the dub. You earned it tonight. Hey, go party with your teammates, Thank man. You. Great game, Appreciate Tyreek. You Thank too. you again. All right, we're back again with the assistant coach. Coach, you had a great game out there. You talked about resiliency in the first half. It truly showed in the second half. What did you do to rally your team up to come from behind and get that victory? That wasn't us. That was the E-man. Um, he, he's a guy that, to be honest, so far this year hasn't had a ton of time. But you put him in, and, and that is 100% he gets the credit for that. Just the spark. He came in first half, second half. Uh, I think he probably had a double-double. I'm guessing he had, he had a bunch of rebounds. Um, that's something that as coaches we'd like to think we get to have that kind of control, but we don't. It takes a player to come in and lead everybody else, and they were willing to follow and, and get us you know, an opportunity to go win the championship with this thing tomorrow. Yeah, well, you clearly rallied the team when they needed it most, and it really showed out there. You guys fought hard all the way through, 40 minutes long. Yep. Your players talked about having an identity as a hardworking team. Um, did you see that tonight out there, Coach? I saw it in spurts. And I think, you know, we're, we're a pretty good team right now to be a great team, which I think we have a chance to be. We need to be able to do it for 40 minutes consistently. And that's really hard to do. And if, if you guys know the secret by any, like, let me know. I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to keep working every day to try and get to it. Well, lots of potential, Coach. You guys look sure. fantastic out there. Congratulations right. on the win. Thanks, and, uh, guys. Yeah. Go hopefully, Lakers. Hopefully go get another one tomorrow. Yes, sir. Right, appreciate good luck. it, guys. Thank you. All right. Well, once again, Tim Carlisle signing off with Action News Go.